Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special housing report where today we look at figures from Quotable Value, the government-owned valuer, and REINZ, the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand, the group of real estate agents. They report on sales and values in July and they're the broadest measure of what's happening in the housing market. And they both show that house prices and values are up around about 4.5%, 4.6% in fact, in the year to July. But most of that growth is happening in Auckland and in Christchurch. Let's look first at quotable value, where it says values are up 2.2% in the last three months to July, and up 4.6% from a year ago. They still remain 0.8% below the 2007 peak. Now those are in nominal terms. Once you take, in account, take into account inflation, we're still 13.1% below the peak we saw in 2007. However, when you look at what's happening in the old Auckland City, so that's the Auckland City Council area, it doesn't include South Auckland or the North Shore or the Waitakere uh, City Council area, prices there up, or values up 7.1%. And we're looking at record high levels for Auckland. In fact, 8.4% above those levels in 2007. And even when you look at inflation adjustment, it's about 5% below the peak. Uh, let's go now to what's happening with the charts for quotable value. And you can see here in the quotable value price index, uh, we, we, we hit that peak in 2007. We came down through the recession 2008, 2009, bounced up again, down again in 2010. But we're up on quite a steep trend here up to the end of July up here for the index. It's worth taking this chart, interactive chart, right back a bit to see how we've gone since 1979. And you can see, and this interactive chart is below the uh, video here. You can see, boom, up went prices 2002 to 2007 down a bit, up a bit, and they're starting to rise again, nearing that peak. However, uh, the, the uh, move in Auckland uh, back towards those peak levels, even in real terms, uh, means that uh, prices in Auckland, at least, uh, are not going to be below that peak for long. Uh, QV is saying that property investors and small developers are coming back into the market, and there's plenty of action from buyers. Now let's have a look at the figures from the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand. They show sales in July of 5,907. That's up 19.9% from a year ago. However, the median price was actually down in July from June, uh, down to 361,000. Meanwhile though, it's still up 4.6% from a year ago. And in Auckland, the median price is still at that record high of $500,000. Now let's have a look at the stratified median measure for uh, the Real Estate, in, Real Estate Institute of New Zealand. This is something they've developed with the uh, Reserve Bank to try and take out some of the skew you see when there are more houses sell at the top of the market or at the bottom of the market. And you can see here, according to the Real Estate Institute stratified measure, that we're almost at the peak that we saw in 2007. We've rebounded through 2007. 10 and 11 back to the peak. There's the boom, 2002 to 2007, down a bit, up a bit, and now we're heading back up again for the housing price index. And you can see here what's happened with the median price. It bounces around quite a lot. It's a bit more volatile than the, than the index. And that uh, that median price growth there up again, uh, up, up to near that 5% mark. However, the Real Estate Institute says that we're seeing a recovery rather than a boom in the housing market. It points out that, remember we had about 4,900 properties sold in July this year, it points to 2003, the real boom times, 10,000 properties sold. However, when you look at what's happening in Auckland at the moment, particularly the old Auckland, prices are up strongly, up 9.3% in stratified terms. In Christchurch, they're up 6.6%. That's high single digits. In some areas, according to Barford and Thompson in Auckland, prices are rising at between 15 and 25% from a year ago. So certainly the market is heating up. Obviously a lack of supply in Christchurch in Auckland where there have been supply shocks. We've had the leaky buildings crisis in, in Auckland and of course the earthquake in Christchurch to take all that supply out of the market. Remember we're only building about 2,000 houses a year in Auckland when between 10 and 13,000 is needed. We have a supply shock. 
hitting the New Zealand market and house prices are rising because of it, along of course with low interest rates for longer. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special housing report from interest.co.nz.